In this lesson, I will explain how the sweep tool works. Sweep is basically a shape extruded along some path. So this tool, this method, has multiple steps and it's probably one of the most complex one out of all the tools on the form create tab. First step is to create a path. We can pick path if we have some kind of geometry there or lines, but if we are starting from scratch, then we have to use a sketch path tool. Okay, sketching is really simple. We also have a, a standard draw tools there and we can create chain of lines or other shapes like arc, etc. Okay. This is our path. We can check on it in a 3D view and you can see this green cross mark, which signifies the position of our profile. This is the reference plane of our profile, you can, you can say. And it usually appears on the first line I draw, but I can click on it and uh, pressing my left mouse button, I can move its position to a different line. In our case, it's, it's uh, not that important to be honest, but if by some mistake uh, it will appear on the, for example, you know, arc, and it is harder for us to imagine how the prof to draw uh, our profile on such a bent uh, line, then it's good to, to move it somewhere else. Now I can accept the path by pressing this finish edit mode button. And the next step would be drawing a profile. I can select profile from the list, but I don't have any profile family loaded into the this family because we can all, also nest family inside of another. So I could load a profile family and try to extrude it along this path. But since we don't have it, I will use edit profile tool. Again, draw tool and I need to access a view that will allow me to draw a profile most efficiently and conveniently. So I can go to the front view and draw it here, but I advise you to use uh, this view cube in a 3D view and to go to front. Okay. I don't have to worry about uh, the plane that is be that is active right now because once I'm in an edit profile mode, Revit automatically sets me to this plane, uh, which is described, de defined by this cross mark. Okay, so I will go to front and now draw draw some profile. Let's say I can draw a pipe. I don't pay much attention now to the dimension of, of this object. It's, it's not the, the um, goal of this lessons. We are just learning how to create a geometry. I accept this profile and once again, I accept both profile and this path. Okay, so I click finish. You see, this sweep is being created. Now let's try to load some kind of profile from the library. I will go to load family, profiles, I don't know, let's uh, search for some framing, steel framing. Uh, okay, let's select this profile, this size. If I want to modify this sweep, I either double click on it or select and click edit sweep. Once again, if I want to modify this profile, I double click on it or create edit profile. I will double click on it I can and, and can modify the existing sketch. However, I want to actually not edit this profile, but, but select it. So I switch and select from the drop down menu, the shape I would like to extrude. 
okay I accept it and that's it this is my new profile sometimes uh, it's good to first uh, draw draw a path um, before we go to the sweep mode if we want to define our path it's best way to do it by reference lines so let's do it quickly again in the future lessons we will use sweeps a lot with reference lines so uh, I want to give you just a general perspective on it and later we will dive deeper into it if I go to reference lines I can draw anything something is not right I'm not sure if I'm on the on the some strange reference plane okay so before I I start drawing anything I set the reference plane to reference level actually this set work plane tool will be used so often that I will add it to quick access toolbar so we, so it appears under ribbon okay it's on the reference level I select reference line and will draw something okay now when I'm in the sweep mode I can pick path now thanks to the reference line I can pick these lines I will select again the same profile check it on a 3d okay and create select finish because I uh, picked the reference line now the sweep is attached to this reference line so if I move the line the sweep will automatically update so it should open up already in your mind uh, a lot of potential for parameterization because I can of course create dimension and later parameterize for example position and and in this way I can control the geometry of the entire sweep this was just an example I hope you will try to and test it uh, yourself and play a little bit with it so you will understand I guarantee you that this is the most complex one out of all the forms that we have here and the last thing I would like to mention in this lesson is that we have additional uh, parameters for the profile position so if I go back to this edit sweep and select this profile in the properties window we can see settings such as angle profile offset horizontally or vertically so if I go for just a minute to the left side I can easily move the position to any value I want so you see now there are two crosses visible one is the center and it's connected to the uh, profile path and the other one signifies the offsets I can also rotate the profile and let's see how it works Revit managed to create such geometry so it's good to know that we have some other options there and you can play with it later